You know what happens when you go racing on a short track on dirt. Drivers, they get angry. I give to you Kyle Larson, Ryan Priest. They got into one another, lap 79, Ryan Priest visually showing his displeasure. I love nonverbal communication. About 100 laps later, they're at it again. And this time, Ryan Priest said, I've had enough. Take this, Larson, you NASCAR champion. Here are the drivers after the race. I don't race dirt. I don't know. I just, I tried running the top. I'm a guy that runs the bottom. And when you're trying to, I know he was making speed up top. And I tried to move up there and we were just, we were too loose. So a lot of people are going to stand their ground, but by no means was that intentional. Obviously I'm looking in my mirror and didn't seem that he was to my outside yet, but uh, and I don't know if he got into the wall, but um, he had a pretty short temper. Obviously he was trying to crash me, I think after that, and then was he was swerving at me under yellow and he's standing his ground, I guess right now. He said game over. Yeah. Well, I think you just get mad getting run in the fence, right? And there was no meaning. It's just from inside that race car, you're like, well, not gonna lift. You know, when it comes to being run into the fence, you can't. We were just racing hard, trying to get all we could. I mean, who's to say he intentionally wrecked me? I mean, only he knows. Um, figured we could just be grownups and get the f over it, but I guess not. Larry? I've been Larry. asking you to be a grown-up for a long time, so just get over it. Yeah, just, just get over <laughs> it. I can't do it. He can't hey, do I, it. I had a sarcastic voiceover of what happened on track. What's your take, David? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just a simple thing of, of two guys going for the same spot, but you've got one of the guys with Ryan Priest. Some of this has been brewing, not necessarily with Kyle Larson, but just in general of his season. And so he gets a really good run coming out of turn four here. Larson squeezes him into the wall. Obviously shouldn't have done it. Ryan's upset. He had a fast car, Adam. He was running in the top five, had a great heat race. And to go back to Coda, he was running in the top ten. He gets dumped on a late race restart, and he's just frustrated. He, he's had some speed in that 41 Ford a few times, but he hasn't had any good finishes to show for it, and it all came to a head, yeah. and Kyle Larson happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Turns out Priest wasn't the only one upset in the 41 camp. Here's their radio when all this was going on. He's fighting hard here. He's running scared now. Yeah, I would send his ass if you get there. Make sure you return the favor because he shouldn't make mistakes like that, so I doubt it was. It was not a mistake. Yeah, and his spotter just told me he was telling him. It just a move that early in the race. He should know better than that. I agree, 100%. He thinks that I guess he could do that to anybody. It's amazing how times change. After hearing that, you say what, David? You know, I, I don't really agree with, with what a spotter and his crew chief were kind of they telling were Ryan. The fire <laughs> they, they, they were, yeah. It's like they had five gallon buckets and they were just dumping. And a lot of times, you know, drivers, that they're in the heat of the moment. They're mad. They've got that helmet on and they're on kill mode. And a lot of times, in my perspective, you, you've got to calm that driver down and say, look, it's early in the race. Well, we've got a lot of racing left. Other guys are going to make some mistakes. Let them make the mistakes and let's capitalize but they, they kept the, uh, the the fire going, and, and obviously Ryan had a chance later in the race, and he didn't cut Kyle Larson any slack. I don't think he did that intentionally, but he didn't cut Kyle any slack and ultimately ended Kyle's night. But let's talk about the frustration of Kyle Larson. What led him to be in that position? Because I felt like watching the heat race on Saturday night, started on the pole last night, it was Kyle Larson's race to absolutely lose. But this right here was about four laps after the restart at stage two. Spun out completely on his own. And again, they, they couldn't change tires here. But remember, he dominated stage one, led all 75 laps. They pitted. They came back and finished third in stage two. They pitted. But they didn't change tires. One, I do not understand them pitting. I certainly don't understand them pitting and not changing tires. And I'm hearing that was a Larson call. But that's what got them back there to begin with. And it just kind of went downhill from there. Good news for Larson. He won last week. He's in the playoffs. He can put this behind him and move forward. Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.